love Margot Robbie. You want to hate her character because she's such a sassy little brat on purpose, but in Margot Robbie fashion, you love her. You yeah. love her character. She did a great job, but you're right. I just felt like she I, she really irritated me the way that she treated her son. I and her like husband. That. Right. So it just shows how great she is at acting because right. Margot Robbie is such a, a nice person. But you'll still end up yeah. loving her character. Exactly. Yeah, we talked. Nice to see you two. Hi. Hello. I have to tell you, I have a tremendous amount of appreciation for both of you as actresses. However, having just sat down with Will, I don't know how you get through a shoot with this kid. Like, my it's jaw just drops every moment. Quite the scene steal of that one. He's, uh, he's amazing. He's, he's, yeah, it's funny. It's going to be strange to see him, like, mm. in real life, not in this Christopher Robin outfit. And there's something cherub-like about it. He's not of this world. Mm. It's the dimples. Is that it? it? Yeah. And we hear he's got different hair, clearly, from when we were filming, but there might be some gel or something going on, so I have to, I'm have. i fascinated. <laughs> yeah, I want to fast forward. I want to get a time machine and see what's going to go on 40 years from now, what, what kind of empire this kid is running. Yeah, yeah. All right, for the two of you, 10, 20 movies from now, when you look back at this beautiful movie that you have on your resume, what's going to be the moment that you go to? Either the moment on the set or the scene that just was beautiful? The sets definitely were beautiful. Like where we were shooting, the main, the main like country house that we were shooting in was Yeah, Cotchford, the, the place they found to yeah. match Cotchford was beautiful. That, and that was my first day, so I probably would go oh, there. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm also going to remember the rap party with Fonny. I was thinking that as <laughs> well! <laughs> it was the most out-of-hand rap party, <laughs> considering like how sweet the film is. It's that like, was, when you asked the question, immediately, <laughs> I, I went rap party and I thought, I can't say that. That's what I want to know about, because you think of this film, you think uh, exactly, of when you think maybe of this a film. high tea at the no, end of it all. it was maybe the rowdiest rap party oh I've ever gosh. been to. There was, photo, there was a sort of photo booth type area. I've got a photo of me on top of the producer. I, I mean, I don't know what I was doing, but like a sort of beast from a horror film on him. Um, <laughs> don't remember doing that. And do you remember when Will started dancing and everyone like made a circle around him? Because he was like, this is sweet Christopher Robin the whole time. And he was break dancing at the rap party and we're all like, what is going on? It's like, it's, yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, where my mind was taking that kid 40 years from now is totally different now. Yeah. <laughs> he is going to be the Wolf of he's Wall Street. Gonna be running the, he's going to be running this place. Do we think Academy Award nominations might be coming out of this? Maybe, oh, yeah, supporting actress? Yeah. It seems like one of those movies that would win a best right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. totally. And I, if I would have had a nanny, like the nanny that Kelly plays in this movie, oh, I would have become no. something. She like, actually was like one of the few people in the movie who were looking out for the child. Right. <laughs> the few, the only, yeah, I think. Yeah, I, I, sure. loved, I loved her character. Just very endearing, makes you appreciate those who care for us.